I'll show you how to see your most visited pages in Google Analytics 4. This way you can see the top pages overall and the top pages where your users started their journey. <laughs> Hello data people, my name is Robert and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. So let's head to the GA4 dashboard. So to see your most visited pages in Google Analytics 4, you need to come to reports and then here you have engagement and you have pages and screens and landing page. These both are really useful reports and I'm going to explain what the difference is. And by the way, if you don't see the engagement, it might be called something else. Just open up your uh, the drop downs and you should see pages and screens and landing pages somewhere there. So the landing page report tells you the first page people uh, landed on when they visited your shop. Whereas the pages and screens just tells you all the pages that your visitors uh, visited. <laughs> if I come to your website and I go to home page and then I go to product page. I would be seen counted as one home page here. I would not be counted for the product page because it's not the first first page I visited. For pages and screens, I would be counted as one visit to the home page and one visit to the product page. That's the biggest difference. So you're gonna have much more data in pages and screens than in landing page. And I have already a landing page open here and I like to start it here because this is also where user's journey starts. And the report looks exactly the same as uh, any other reports. But if you look at here, we have the most visited page. So that's the first page people see is the home page. So that, that's the dash. There's also not sets. That means uh, there's something going wrong or maybe we just don't know where they came from. But then there's also shop family day. Uh, this, I guess this is a product and Canada for some reason is also quite high up. Sometimes it's useful to look at sessions. Right now it's sorted by sessions, but you could also come here to and just sort it by the revenue. That way you'll see what pages are bringing most revenue and maybe you can improve those. But some of them are quite obvious, like the checkout. Obviously that's gonna bring you revenue, but uh, there are other pages that might surprise you. Same thing, you could use session key event rate. So if you come here, purchase, and now you can see the purchase conversion rate for these pages. And you could compare, for example, homepage converts much less than the, um, I guess this is a lister page. Now obviously you can also change the dates from here, from top, and you can also, there's a pagination here and so on. It just works like any other uh, report. By the way, data is not created equal and you should be only looking at the data that is relevant to your role. That's why I've created a cheat sheet which shows you the most important metrics and KPIs specific to different e-commerce roles. You can download it by clicking on the first link in the video description. When we look at pages and screens, and this is where you will find out what is the most visited page on your website. So if you come here, you'll see uh, on this website, it's homepage and then it's shop family day and checkout and so on. In this shop, it's quite similar between pages and screens and landing pages, so not big differences. And one thing that's slightly different in this report, you can change from here uh, the, the view you're looking at. And also if you've set up content groups, this is something you need to do custom. Uh, it's in GA4, it's a custom setup for content groups. You'll be able to see, for example, uh, pages by, I don't know, page type. So for example, you have all your uh, landing pages in one, then you have all the product pages, just as a one line item here, lister pages, checkout, and so on. It's super useful to see, because that way you can just quickly see uh, how page types are doing and when you're comparing to each other. So instead of seeing them all separate, you see them all grouped into these page types. Really useful to just have an overview of, of your shop. Now you know where to find the top visited pages on your site, but GA4 default reports are full of metrics and dimensions you just don't need. And using them will just waste your time. That's why you should watch this video next 